Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this Let's Play of U4 as Russia. Okay, I think we're gonna set sail here. Uh, let's see... Well, that's a pretty high... Big fleet. Is that where your port is? It is. Good, let's go there. And blockade okay, that. Revolt risk is pretty much nada at this point. Good. Good. Very good. Let's see. Genoese. Polish. Genoese. Curious. Okay. And we engaged the enemy. Yeah, I do not have an admiral. This is true. And they do have an explorer, which is probably why we keep losing. Because that's what he does. He attacks us, he sinks some of our ships, and then he flees. He has done that several times now. So while he can't stay and fight, he can destroy our ships. It just takes them down a few at a time. Uh. Most annoying. Wait a second. Oh, they had ideas. That's... Uh, that's fine. When is the next attack? Ten years. Okay, in that case we can fill in this. That's okay. Cedar Messina is down. Hey! Well, that means we can attack his pesky little army. Kaboom! Uh, you are of course not the best dude. So where's our 6-6 monster? There you are. Charge! Into farmlands, that's fine. And his fleet showed up. At least we sunk a ship now. He sunk two our ships, and we lost two ships. Yeah, see that leader of his? It's gonna murder our fleet's dead. One ship at a time. I mean, he can't stand up to us in the long run, but... Uh, he can still hurt us quite a bit. You guys stay there and wait one turn so we can actually move. And you can move up to your duty. Up in the Austrian lands. You can move on to this area. If we fight Kerlin, we're gonna need to smash down. Let's see, Kerlin, your forts are where? Is that your only fort? Well, and your home. And your home. Okay, in that case, move up. Like so. I need to remove Köln. I can't see where their borders start and ours end. I need to fix that. I'm not gonna send out the fleet. They're just gonna be... He's just gonna keep smashing them into pieces. Uh, we could detach the... Repair damage ships and send the rest of the fleet. Engage this. See if we can sink some of his ships. At this point, the guy should have reached Siberia. Did indeed reach Siberia. So now we're going to start with Africa. Uh, kill the natives. Yeah, if we... We can make peace with uh, Spain right now. But then we would have a tiny bit of overextension until September. We'd also have a couple of months of peace. Which could kind of help out our 
our states. Oh boy. You know what, I really need to switch out their uh, policies. Just, you know, um... Stay in their own territories. Including their fleets. I mean, they sail away there and lose all their fleets all the time. And that's gonna rack up, rank up their war exhaustion. Something fierce. at the whole menu here. I probably should get more in, more of an interest in from an, uh, uh, look at what they're actually up to. Uh, that seems fair enough. Okay. And a ton of peasants. Yeah. Yeah, we can do this, we're going to be overextended for a couple of months, that could result in bad events. Are there any of these events that would be disastrous to us? Probably not, and I want the peace. ASAP. Then again, I also want to smash his fleet. Six months. I want to take his land now. Yeah. Give me your lands. I don't really need your money. Do that. Uh, actually, I want you to keep those because then I mean that means you won't really attack them. Uh, that would unfortunately increase the truce, and I don't need the prestige. Okay, so we're going to be a tiny bit overextended. I mean, I could take even more. But then I would be overextended for a very long time, and I don't want to be done that. Not yet. But we'll take this. So I can have a few months of peace. Uh, will that mean these peasants will stay? Or will they move? Oh, that's gone. Hammer them and see. Yeah, we're gonna 3% overextended for a couple of months. They're gonna move. Excellent. Actually, move south instead, so we can have some troops on that side. Uh, you're a siege team, you can move north into this area. Uh, you are told to go up here. You go and join the main fleet. You go uh, here for now. Start moving north. And there we go. It didn't take long for the first one, but that's fine. Merchants assassinated. I don't really care about the merchants. So what if they die? So 
So we're gonna have a bit of a rocky start. That's okay, our troops are gonna be shifting around now. We're gonna... Probably fight Köln. Uh, I'm not gonna start the war just yet though. He's still at war. He's taken all of Liege. Well, most of it. Liege, Switzerland and Austria. And since I don't allow military access... Ah, that's what's going on. Uh, in that case... That's of course what's going on. I need to move at least one of these regiments to the mainland. I think I want to do a quick smash and crush on Janpur here. And I did have another regiment up north. Move that south. This one as well. Let's try to just crush Janpur. I had another one all the way in the north. Yeah, let's try to deal with Janpur and Pegu and get rid of them. And then we're gonna position ourselves against Ming. I think we just want to take all the northern half of him. And then the southern border, if possible. Try to stop them from expanding all the time. We shall see. At least now we have quite a few places to convert. <laughs> My goodness. So I'm gonna need a spy, not in Spain. I don't think I can steal anything or anything from that anyway, right? Steal maps? No. Infiltrator administration, why not? See what they're up to. Might as well spend the power. Uh, I'm gonna start building a spy network on this dude. Now, that's not gonna bring me at war with uh, Austria, but it is gonna bring me at war with uh, the Pope. Uh, once. I wonder if Kaelin finishes their war, would uh, that draw in Austria? Austria did rival them, I think. Didn't you? Yeah. Heck with it, let's start this war as soon as we have the diplomat back. I want e no, not that it, not you. Two siege, you. And then I want the combat dude. There we go. I need a siege one down in Italia. For uh, this grouping. It's gonna be you. And one more. There we go. Leader is set. Leaders are set. I'm gonna wait until uh, June 1st. I want to give my colonial states one little more takedown <laughs> of, of war exhaustion. It's not much, but hey. Besides, I'm not sure if being at war will increase the frequency of the bad events from overextension. I'm not sure about that. And of course we have a billion tons of uh, separatists to play with anyway.
Oh, I forgot to declare the war. Whoops. Okay, first of July then. Right now I'm converting based on time. Basically, rather than areas, and that's probably a bad idea, but uh, I will. We'll deal with the revol revolts that rise up anyway. Uh, we want to fight the capital curtain. Uh, I can't rise the Pope, that's fine. Part of the Empire Austria will protect them, except their arrival of them, and their at war, and there we go, some bonus rebels there. I want you to fight there, and then I want you to move straight through. You're gonna stay right in Köln. You're gonna go in Frankfurt and sit there. Actually, no, you're not. You're gonna go in Frankfurt and sit there. You're gonna go north. You're gonna go and deal with these rebels. And the Pope joined the war. Which means the Pope dies. Oh yeah, the Pope has some territory up here, I forgot. And the Pope also has a fleet. Papal fleet, kaboom. Got a big, a big revolt sack down there, but... Uh, oh, well, we'll deal with that. Uh, that's true, is there a fort near Nice? There is, good. A little separatism down there. Uh, separatist sentiment, okay, fine. He managed to get away. Sneaky little bugger. That's okay, we'll take over the provinces first and move on you later. Oh, he tried to get back. <laughs> Unfortunate for him. And there goes the papal fleet. Uh, poor colonial states. Russian Columbia, seven? Wow. Uh, why do they have so much war exhaustion? It's been ages since they were occupied. Uh. How about the revolt risk? Uh, they're fairly stable. That could be why they're not culture converting. Maybe. Maybe revolt risk has something to do with it. Uh, Dongan separatists, 40,000 worth. Polish separatists. Okay, that one was a bit unexpected. That one was very unexpected. I don't really have any forces to deal with it. Um... Okay, we'll have to send one and see if we can sort this out. Oh, that's true, because we converted uh, Warsaw by uh, in, the, in the peace deal. And uh, that sort of had an effect on the rebel timers. So they got a separatist, uh, separate rebel list, apparently. Okay, Nice has been taken care of. Good. Priuli, I think you're gonna march up and do help with that rebellion. Bino, uh, Poli dang it. Ten, ten years of separatism in Warsaw. That hurts. That really hurts. Because Warsaw was one of those expensive provinces. But again, we know that we can't actually complete that project anyway. But still. 
most vexing. And there's the calling on the last province, so you're not going to have any more bad events, which is great. Um, right, there are some... I completely forgot, there are some rebels on Madeira. Portuguese noble rebels. We have to... Damn it. That's kind of unfortunate, but we'll deal with it. We shall overcome. And go up here. We need to kill these deliberately ish. Oddly enough. The second we do that, uh, Austria might just do fun things. Ah, dang it. Of course, all the, all, all the rebels were in the south here. Have you arrived yet? Good. All aboard. All aboard. Head for Madeira. So let's see. Has the guy arrived down in South Africa yet? No, still a hundred and something days out. Nearly 200 days. Siege of Pisa is done. That's it for you. You can start moving up just in case Austria decides to intervene in this conflict. Done. What the bond is done. So it's gonna take longer to convert war, so that's unfortunate. Speaking of conversions, anything we can start? No. Warsaw liberated, I want you down here in Vienna. Just in case. Well, we are going to start a war with Austria, obviously, but it's just a matter of whom and when and how. You know what? Maybe we should just focus on the islands and make sure that. Uh, never. Dang it. So you guys still have a religious seal. Uh, what about the Bruneian provinces? That's fine then. Try to get rid of this. Yeah, try to get rid of these whole islands so I don't have to put so many troops out there. Uh, we really edge, that's great. Go back and then this way. These are all unfortified provinces, no wonder they took over those areas so quickly. Discovery spread, really? A ground river. 
okay. Thought we knew the world by now, but apparently not. Oh, I've completely forgotten the uh, Madrid. Um, these dudes. Dang it. Attack, charge, kill. Murder that maim. Ugh. So, uh, this was kind of strange though. I could start the core of the island, but I <laughs> still don't have control of it. Since there are separatists there. Now, uh, that's, that's kind of strange. I would, I would have imagined that I couldn't core it at all. No, I couldn't start the core. Never mind. So why... No, I could start the core. It just did nothing would happen. Taking over a rebel-held province has some, kind of, has some kind of weird shenanigans going on out there. Oh, no matter what. It is time for a break, I think. And we'll see what we can do about finishing all the stuff up here next time. Thank you for watching.